Okay, I think we're all set. I would just uh, ping the people with the finals tag. Um, okay, so Maurice, I, I was talking to Wizard. We're going to try to do about two hours tonight. Wizard has some uh, practicing to do. <laughs> so we don't want to take away from that too much. Um, because you're, you're practicing for a ZVP too, aren't, aren't you, Wizard? Yeah, so. As we all know, if you're going to be playing a ZVP anytime soon, you need all the practice you can get. Damn, yeah. ZVP is just brutal right now. So that's pretty impressive. Okay, let's um let's see. How about let's start with Tortle versus Michi. I haven't streamed in a while, so hopefully I don't make any like massive mistakes. <laughs> Yeah, just 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 small ones. Wait, are you in the party with us? No, you're not, Maurice. There you are. Okay, so we're gonna be like jumping around from group to group. So we're th this is from group A. Um, but we'll go. F we'll do like one or two games from each group. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> uh oh, okay. Sorry, my audio cut out. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, oh my god. <laughs> um we're going to we're going to start over. We're going to start over. Hang on, you guys. Um, can you guys hear me? I still can't hear, hear you for some reason. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, I think I fixed it.
Okay. Sorry about that. I think we're all set now. Hopefully, if there's anybody still in chat, they can confirm that they can hear us. <laughs> that might be a long shot, but let's let's jump back into it. Sorry, I'm so sorry about that. I had a feeling something like that might happen. Um, Bluetooth does not respond well when you have multiple devices. <laughs> Okay, so spawning into the uh, to the upper left hand corner from the University of Michigan, the Protoss player Tortle. Um. So, Tortle qualified from the ranking so he didn't he so he was able to skip the first stage um and then michi tommy went three and two and so yeah he was like right in the middle yeah stage one was 20 people and um the top eight made it out of that and then um, stage two is 16, so like four groups of four. And yeah, I'll have to show that in between games. It's just like throwing a lot of numbers at people. Yeah, that's true. They can't hear us. Oh my god. Uh. Okay. Uh. Hmm, okay. Got it. Okay, let me see if I can. It's, it's hard juggling everything, especially when you're trying to improve one aspect. It feels like the aspects <laughs> you're already decent at, <laughs> yeah. and, like they deteriorate. It's so yeah, it's so bad. Um, yeah. Okay, and, I and it's kind of see why oh. I had the wrong output, but I, they can probably hear you now. Hello, chat. Can you hear me or Wizard? Yeah. No one cares if you can hear Volnox. All right, we're good <laughs> yeah. now. Sounds like okay. okay nice. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> 
<laughs> we did it. We did it, Reddit. We did it. A hell of a start. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it. At this rate, this might be the only series that we do. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> There's like no audio, no video. It, it, it's been it's been 20 minutes, and we're we're three minutes into the game. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, well Vonok said is, I hope you're furiously typing away the subtitles for this VOD. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, nobody's going to be getting yeah. any information. <laughs> There's going to be some intense closed captioning. Oh, can we get the names of the co-casters in the title, says Samus and Sidekick. Um, but like, 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 what if he just said no? Uh, <laughs> it's like no. <laughs> you you have to uh, guess have to earn that. by the sounds of our voice. And yeah, our, who am I? This we show in game. <laughs> I can do that, but um, probably gonna have to be the twin games though. <laughs> good, good suggestion. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, I mean I'm 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 Maurice Moss. You've, I, I, Sam, you've probably seen me in other people's chats. I feel like I've seen you in Flapjacks quite a bit. But I've been around. <laughs> yeah, we have Maurice, Maurice and Wizard casting. Um, yeah. I'm yeah. really surprised uh, with the Phoenix. Actually, that's that's not something we we see very often. Um, but yeah, we do have that quick plus one. Uh, so we're gonna see two Stargate Phoenix. And I feel like I've struggled against this a few times, just because you don't expect it anymore. Um, but I, I've seen it a little more now, because I think Zest has some builds versus that, that he you know popularized a bit at I Am Karawitze. Um, but yeah, for the Zerg, you basically just want to delay your tech a whole hell of a lot. You can take a much earlier fourth than you can versus Void Rays, because uh, Void Rays, you really need Hydras uh, to take your fourth. And then you just drone up a ton. And you get like a free four base versus the Phoenix. The only problem is like you have no no map pressure. Gotcha. And, and, and so how do you like the, like the timing of the layer here from Michi Tommy? Do, do you like that or, or no? The layer, uh, let's see. It's, it's uh, already it's done. Fine. It just finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Gotcha. Um, so you can, you can take like a four minute layer. Um, usually I like to delay it until after I see the Protoss take their third. Because a lot of like you know two based all ins like you know void rate charge lot or immortal charge lot, you don't need the lair, and like you would rather have the hundred gas and two four more roaches. Ooh, um, coming right as Tortal drops his third. Yeah, they're gonna. Oh no, cancel. Oh, oh yo man. And he gets an adept. Maybe two. Shade? No. Yeah, he'll get two. So you get you need four links for an adept. Okay, does camp the uh, the links finally with the Phoenix popping in here trying to catch some cheeky overlord kills? Maybe no. Wow, we're going really fast, Pit. I, I, I is this gonna be? Hmm, I don't really know because he's getting Bane's also, so it's not like he's gonna go Hydra Bane. Um, but you have seen like we've seen some like later Queen walks or uh. On this map, or like Queen Ninuses with uh, with lurkers, because it's really hard to hit an early one just because the map is so long. Um, but yeah, we've seen like you know Rainer do that uh, like that lurker, the lurker Queen walk style. But yeah, you can't be doing this uh, versus Phoenix getting a Queen's caught out, which is very different than uh, when you play when you play Voids. Because yeah, like. We had what three queens die for for nothing, and they had they had yeah. high energy. Um, and that that's basically how uh, Zest caught Rainer out was he thought he was playing against uh, Void Race, and you know Zest went like like extremely fast plus one Phoenix like he skipped Warp Gate for um, plus one uh, air, and then Rainer had his queens out on the map. Yeah, these things have been getting a ton of work done. I mean, they have like four of lords dead, twelve drones, four queens, picking up some hydras now. It's pretty. I mean, these things have been super cost efficient. I mean, like unfortunately losing a couple here, but yeah. But he's been he's been up on workers uh, almost this entire time. Yeah. But we yeah. see a huge bane morph. Oh man. 
Okay, let's look at this. Hmm, there's two stalkers here. Oh, but they're rallied back? Is that an F Does F2 get cocoon or like morphing banelings? I actually yeah, don't I know. A, I don't know. I don't that's F2. Weird. I just... I, I F2 with extra steps. I just put everything on one hockey, and then I use that <laughs> hockey. I don't F2 because I click the button. See, yeah, I did that. I was like, yeah, I'm going to learn how to not press F2, and then like I was being like really intense fights trying to click the fucking button, and I'm just like, this is like <laughs> just, this is missing no. the point. So I just rebounded again. <laughs> I got investors out for this game, so I like that. Yeah, they don't, how much do they group? I've never actually seen uh, investors into this. But it feels like, yeah, Michitami is a very strange composition that I don't think is going <laughs> to scale well Like once this fleet beacon comes into play. Yeah, definitely. I mean, although I mean, like, do, do you think this army could potentially take a good, decent fight? Though? I mean, it, it seems like the army supply. Oh yeah, right yeah, yeah. Kind of I, I think if uh, if you know total fights like out on the map, he loses. But I think he can just sit. You know, like like Death Or is so easy to hold three base, so easy to hold four base. Yep. Yep. Um, Ooh, oh, he's got a pretty good fungal. Yeah. Well, the poor Infestor walking in front though. Oh my god, it survives with 1 HP. Oh, this does go down. Gets a nice funk on the uh, rest of the Adepts here. Bunch of Hydra's being picked up though. I mean, like, there's not too many Phoenixes left anymore. Yeah, you don't really need the Phoenix, I think, at this point though. I actually don't um, think he has enough Phoenix there. That be a Looks like he has enough Hydra's. Yeah, it's, 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 it's hard to say. Um, oh, okay. I think he might have also missed the timing, right? Because if he hits 30 seconds earlier, that was when Tortle threw up all those cannons batteries, right? Yeah. Because, like, when, when you do play against Phoenix, there is, like, that timing where, okay, you've been kept out on the map the whole time, but once you have, like, the critical amount of Hydras where, like, they can't take a fight, you are really strong then. And, like, it's hard, I guess, knowing that exact window. But, yeah, there is, like, a window where you can do a lot of damage if you attack. And I think He's Michi was just a little late. Yeah, I mean, does have a ton of links this time around, but like, like, like there's one carry out, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it seems like he's gonna be. Tortoise Ubek has no ground army right now. It's just two Phoenixes and a carrier warping in a couple of Zells, has a couple of invisible men as well, but. Is it. Does. Is gonna hold it here, it looks like. Yeah, that is pretty wild. Carriers, DTs, infestors. Yeah, the infestors is, is something I, I haven't seen before, but honestly, I think Michi used it very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I definitely agree. It's just hard not to, like, sacrifice them when they, they, like, they got out in front of the army when they were out of energy. Yeah, yeah. You, you kind of need them on a separate hockey. Yeah. They don't have an auto attack. Happens a lot with Vipers, too. Yeah. I feel like my, my, my Viper controls much worse than my Infestors, because, you know, they, they have to, like, go back and forth a lot. With Infestors, a lot of times I just, like, cast the spells, and then I, like, keep them in the back. But Vipers, I'm always, like, going forward, like, getting back energy, and then I just lose, you know, I just lose them somewhere. Getting some Vipers here would be really nice. Small numbers of uh, carriers, Archons. Yeah, I just really worry um, because, you know, tortle has been ahead in workers this entire time. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because also, I mean, I also just realized that uh, it's his McGee here, which is Tommy. He, uh, he actually doesn't even have Evo chambers on the field, so <laughs> the chance of him getting any upgrades is zero. Oh, yeah, wow. um, yeah. Zero. I and like, I mean, I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, the Protoss <laughs> is going plus three grounded, plus two air right now. Okay, the first upgrade comes in for the muta for, for armor, um, or for, sorry, like, air, air armor. armor. Yeah. But, man, I really feel like Michi had, like, a really good strategy, but maybe this just wasn't the map for it, you know? Or maybe he could hit, like, 30 oh, seconds nice. earlier. Nice knurls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, now he can target it down. Yeah. That's actually pretty. Oh my god, he yeah, gets another one here as well. Down to one carrier. 
after this. Yeah, it, it just feels like Tortal has gotten like a lot more tech. Like I think just a few uh, Templar there would be better. Like he's getting, he's kind of getting everything, and I feel like he's getting away with it because of you know, it's it's really hard to attack into four bases on Death Aura. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know, like during that fight, and like just before, you know, he's getting air weapons, ground weapons, he's getting double robo, he's getting like all these other things that aren't going to help him directly in the fight. And we see him still like just barely winning, but uh, you know, on a shorter map, I think that barely winning turns into barely losing. And uh, Midget Tommy's in a good spot. So yeah, unfortunately, Midget Tommy's only upgrade will get cancelled, <laughs> which is very, very unfortunate. Wow, yeah, it's pretty good fungals. Wow, this is really nice, yeah, yeah. Do we have detection now? Yeah, he has four overseers, but they're not participating in the fight at the yeah. moment. DT getting locked on. Um, that went way better for Michi than I would have guessed, though. Yeah. I mean, cause, but he, uh, Turtle only had like three carries there. Like, that's not enough, you know? Yeah. I think it, it is until like six carries that the carry armor starts to get really scary. Like once you're, if you're at like three, carries don't really do anything. Um, but once you get to up to like six to eight, then, you know, they could be like unstoppable pretty much. And Michi really needs this fifth base and Tortle doesn't have his fifth base either. And so you look at both their, their mineral and gas counts. Yeah. Not able to get back up to 200 very quickly for either player. Yeah, and it's just this whole time Mitchie's been like if Mitchie had I think ten more drones, I would really like his position. Yeah. Um because he's been taking great fights. I think. Surprisingly, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean like he hit like the, the really sharp timing. Um and then, you know, his caught total not in front of batteries or cannons uh, a couple times. I'm really surprised Turtle hasn't taken a fifth now, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if he needs to. Because, you know, you're you're on on more workers than the Zerg, right? So I think as long as, uh... Okay, those DTs get cleaned up, but as long as, like, this fifth base of Michitami doesn't get workers up, you don't need to do anything as, as Protoss. Um, you know, as long as you keep tabs on that. But yeah. now, now he should start thinking about uh, taking a fifth, since uh, Zerg seems to be able to get their fifth up, uh, and and we'll be able to drone it. Okay, yes, yeah, so, yes. Yeah, so it'll be kind of interesting to see here. You know, like, as we were mentioning before, was it right? Like the like the fifth base can be very awkward to defend. I mean, so far, I mean, no direct attacks yet, but like, we'll have to see for both of these players, you know, like, like how long these fifth bases actually survive. Because I mean, like, I'd be very surprised if they just kind of continue fighting in the middle of the map or something like that. And then, like, like there's like no counterattacks or anything. And actually, as I say that now, we have some zealots on the left side coming down. Uh, and there's yeah, pretty much yeah. nothing except for one spore. So maybe <laughs> maybe speaking a little too soon. I, I would have actually really liked to see Mitchy take the top, uh, or like the. You know the right hand side fifth base because his creep is amazing on that side and it's non-existent on the side yeah um so he'd be able to defend that you know like that's not the normal one you take but sometimes like you just have to go where the creep is well he didn't quite send enough uh wing bane to deal with these zealots and turtles morphing in about eight more Seven yeah the, more. the slow pylon yeah uh, with some dts in the mix yeah i think that hatcher is gonna go down yeah. It definitely and seems like, I mean, Mitchie's pulling his whole army up here to fight the Protoss. Oh, he gets. Like, the Protoss can only recall the retreat. This, this actually would be a really good fight. A lot of Bane's dies. No fungals, oh, though. The Bane's detonated on the Archons. 
Oh man, I, 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 like, I, I felt like there could have been some really nasty uh, fungals there, but unfortunately I think Mitchie Tommy was just trying to too busy controlling everything else, you know, and like didn't have the time to actually get the fungals off of the infestors. Yeah, he had but a quite really a few, complex army there. Yeah, yeah, really hard to control for sure. Would have been absolutely sick if we said like sick fungals with like lurkers in position and all that stuff, but yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. it's super hard uh, to do. But like, I'll stop the command turtle, you know, like he, he had the archons in the front, moved the rest back smartly. Yeah. Uh, it was good. I, I, I'm, I'm still amazed that Mishitami's in this game at all with no upgrades. <laughs> at the 18 I mean, minute mark though, what the hell is yeah. going on? This is crazy. And GG. Well, that was, that was truly wild. Yeah, I love si Yeah, exactly. I was just excited to see somebody actually use infestors. <laughs> Never see that anymore. Okay, I'm going to try to speed. Okay. I believe our only rant uh, I don't think we, no, we had no random players, I believe, in in the Cauldron Finals. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, so spawning into the upper right hand corner of Jagannatha from the University of Michigan, Tortle. And in the bottom left hand corner, our yellow Zerg from Guns and Roaches. It's Tits McGee, aka Mitchy Tommy, aka Target Wi Fi. <laughs> he's, he's got a lot of names around here. Yeah, I, I I I very quickly noticed that when I played him in the uh, <laughs> the culture before I like, like when I played because this is like is like I saw like one name and then like, I saw him on CTO and then I think I had to play him somewhere else. I was just like, oh my god, this guy has so many different names. Yeah. So we had uh, this looks similar to a fifteen fourteen fourteen. He just didn't do the extractor trick, so it took it just on fourteen. I believe that's a little larva inefficient, like we saw he had three sitting there for a while. And he had three again. Um, but, uh, yeah, Pig Pig calls this build the retard build. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, in his words, only retards lose to it. <laughs> but, 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 but to be fair, like, that's him talking on, like, a GM level, you know? Right, uh, right. Uh, and like the GMs will realize, like, oh, your hatch timings like earlier, your pull timings earlier. Uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, we'll see if uh, Toro realizes. Like, he needs basically. I think you just. I think the cyber cyber first is good, and then go Nexus, and then get a shield battery, and then you're totally fine, and you're not even behind. Hmm. Um, but we do see Michitami. He's keeping on the gas. So this is going to be a bailing variation. Um, I don't like this variation quite as much. Because it feels like... I don't know, it feels like the same counter uh, uh, applies. And, you know, of just uh, getting a shield battery. Although, I don't I don't like how, how late uh, Total's taking this, this Nexus. Like, this is like, this is almost too much of an overreaction. And I think if Michitami sees this, I think if, you know, he wasn't in gas still, he could come out ahead economically. Because he's going, you know, cyber, second gate, uh, second shield battery, second pile, or first shield battery, second pile, and all before Nexus. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a huge overreaction, I think. But since Michi is pretty, pretty all in, like he's going the Bane variation. I think it's gonna be fine, and I think this push is gonna get crushed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if he's gonna have enough gas for this. He only kept two in gas, and I, I maybe that's the correct thing to do. But he's not gonna be able to make too many things here. Well, Tortle showing that he knows that this isn't a true pillar, because uh, the adept can give vision range. Uh, the funny thing is, a pr I don't think a pro quite has the vision range. Like, different units have different vision ranges, so I think you actually yeah. need a, a unit up there. 
Yeah, and I believe oxide has something very similar, right? But like, yeah, I think oxide really oxides is a little different, and um, I think you need something with like a good amount of vision range, like stuff like a, I believe like a Hellion or a Marauder even don't have quite enough. Uh, for like, oh. oh, sorry, go ahead. I didn't realize it before, but uh, Mitchie actually doesn't have a, a Bane as... Yeah, he, well, he started I think droning a bit. Yeah. Um, because he saw, you know, total. He basically saw the overreaction. Um, I would like to see him pull out of gas now. Like, I think his mineral income was was really hurting, and it's so important for Zerg uh, to get your mineral income fast. Yeah. Because you you really have that like economy that like ramps up exponentially. Okay, so um, I think there's a oracle in the way. Michi has not seen that stargate yet. He might have seen the oracle just now. Yeah, yeah, he just got just a tail end of it, I think, I, like with that overlord over yeah. the fourth. But there's no reaction yet, no, no sword crawler here. Yeah, only one queen, not in great position. This oracle's gonna get a lot done. Okay, five kills. And still, like, honestly, I think, economy-wise, Zerg is ahead of where they should be at this point. Uh, they're just, you know, he's down tech-wise, but it's still, you know, even after five five drone kills, it's just, like, the huge overreaction from, from Tortle. I uh, think he was going to be much more all-in. Ooh, does not get the recall on that adept. <laughs> yeah, that was brutal. Such an oddly placed Stargate, though. Yeah, I was, just, I was just looking at this. Like, this is, this is going to block some mining. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably very good to, like, not get scouted, which, you know, got you, you know, that Oracle of Cheeky, you, find, you know, five kills or so, but, like, it's, yeah, that, that gas is going to be mining so inefficiently. Because I, I mean, believe like, if he puts it, like, one hex up, uh, I believe that doesn't interfere with the, the mining. Yeah, I'm actually is curious. It, is is that close enough where like, like you, can you not build the gas? You know how like sometimes you can build stuff oh, too close. True. So I wonder if he's like accidentally just completely blocked himself off from it as well. So it'll be interesting to see if he takes <laughs> takes that gas. The two oracles flying into Mitchie's third base take out the queen. Five drones. Can they get more of the natural? Oh man, man. this wow, is this yeah. is too much damage. Still got a lot. Yeah. Oh man. Absolutely brutal. And there's actually, I think, was like, was that a third oracle? Yeah, a third oracle came into the third as well. So, and it was like, unfortunately, just Michi Tommy didn't put down the spores the uh, the first go around. So like, as those two oracles were showing up, he like <laughs> just started the spores, which was just no good. It's a ton of overlords flying towards Tortle's base right now. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is this really? <laughs> it's migration. It's getting it's getting warmer than the north of Dragon Knot, though. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, unfortunately, a very bad fight here, I think, for yeah. Mr. Mitch Kitami. Yeah, I think this was just the scouting army, but uh, good force fields uh, did not allow the retreat. <laughs> this overlord party is just too funny. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay, so we do have a Phoenix and a Void Rally to the, adding into the mix now, so maybe... I, yeah, I, I mean, I think the <laughs> the Void Ray is just going to be... Uh, it'll pay for itself, killing all these overlords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so update on that fourth extractor, though, or assimilator, excuse me. He was able to build it, um, and he has three probes of doing a nice little crescent moon around the Stargate to get that gas out, so it's okay. But yeah, actually, a massive army showing up here in front of the third of Ichitami. He takes a pretty good fight, gets a nice stasis off. Oh man. Oh, big warping. Yeah, fortunately, I, I, I feel like this might just, might, might just be too much here. I mean. Yeah. And, and I think it's just all the all the losses that Maji like sustained earlier from those oracles was, yeah. was the biggest thing. Yeah. And yeah, I, I think Tortle uh, is going to take the series 2-0. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I found it kind of funny though that he hasn't killed the overlords in his base <laughs> with the void rays yet. Because like yeah, from his vision, he sees two, but like he probably doesn't know that like that there's three more just hanging out and could severely supply fog Vichy. That's kind of hilarious. I, I, I like the style of Protoss where you go into the Stargate and uh, kind of like mix it up. Yeah, it's just hard for the Zerg to scout kind of yeah. what's going on. Yeah. See some decent force fields here. Yeah, I do like to come up finding things, but getting a little too yeah. close. There we go. Yeah, I'm finding from, nice from a distance, forcing the Zergs to reach out. Oh, big piles. Oh, yeah, very nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Oh. Turtle can just produce more. Yeah, yeah GG's call. Well, played by Turtle. Yeah, that was a fun series. It didn't work out better. Yeah. It was the game three, but yeah. I don't mean to rush us, but since I uh, dicked around and wasted twenty minutes earlier, <laughs> we're gonna have to get hop right into the next game. You guys want to take this one? Uh, sure. I'll start in the bottom right. The person saying no, stop in the chat from Clan Easy Dunk. It is Alex Kid. And in the upper left hand corner, uh, I think he's new to jam it. It is our Teal Zerg Rainforest. Okay, so again, <laughs> Alex Kid qualified. Oh, what are they saying? Didn't we play earlier in the tourney? No. Yeah, Alex uh, qualified earlier um, through just points. I believe Alex yeah. was number one in points, right? Yeah, Alex was number one overall in points. He oh, very uh, nice. Very yeah. nice, Alex. We had a very long season of like six months of monthlies. <laughs> and Alex had played in, in most of them. Also, E Legacy was up there. Um, who else was up there with them? Um, I think you also were like top. I, th five. I was fourth. fourth I don't, I'm not yeah. remembering who's third at the moment. Players trying to um. remember who they played. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so before this match, Alex, uh, I think uh, he asked me for some, for some, some, for some practice games, and uh, we, we saw some, uh, you know, looked over some Rainforest replays um, against uh, against uh, Monkey from, from, you know, Alex's teammate from Easy Dunk. Yeah. And uh, Rainforest went for uh, like, a, like a weird Hydronitis timing. Uh, and then just, you know, like a standard, uh, 330 rush run all in. He does like to go Nidus. Um, I, I think in most matchups, from what I can, from what I've noticed. He's just, a, a wormy boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they work fairly often, like most of the time, for, and just in the games that we've casted, the, the Nidus's have gone through. Doesn't always work yeah, yeah. off of them, but... Yep, it looks like there's the potential that he could be setting up for one with this overlord flo uh, floating into the north side of Alex's main. I mean, that's also a fairly common, you know, you have one there to your, do your four minute scout. Yeah, it does seem early, but I guess you wouldn't really need it this early either way. Yeah, it is early because I don't think he, he didn't stay around, like he didn't look for proxies or and he didn't right. stay around uh, to look for a bunker. 
Oh, this is something. Oh, he could have got the kill. <laughs> uh, something else uh, I've noticed. Rainforest always goes 17 hatch, which is like I think it's even with 16 hatch, like economically. A little risky. But your your queens come out later. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're seeing a lot of links. Yeah, 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 I was just gonna mention. Um, okay, we we, we do it. I do have a quick layer. Like, like, like he also just started uh, sling speed after the layer as well because he had been mining three and gas this whole time. So definitely some shenanigans. Alski doing a great job, just being very annoying with the Reaper, just trying to figure out like, hey, where's your third base, bud? Um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna scout the other third location as well, so he should be, you know, aware of something. And you know, typically two base meter players aren't making this many lings, so. <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah, and he sees a lack of gas. Like this is gas. just gonna be Queen Ling Nidus. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think yeah, Alex needs to be hammering those Hellions, uh, and 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 more importantly, getting getting vision of of his entire base. Yeah, and actually, kind of funny. Rainforest running slow links into the natural of Alex Kid before the well, the wall is up, and pretty much, I don't think they did anything really. I was gonna say I thought that uh, might be his distraction to get the Nidus up. But it's a little too early. Yeah. Yeah, and the Nidus ha is just going down now. Yeah, there's no wall here. And see, oh, and actually, because Alex Kid just had a depot planted for the top side of his base, and oh, what happened? He had it queued up. Okay, I don't know how about I feel about this decision of of getting the third CC when like you can see Zerg doesn't have a third. Like, I, yeah, I get this is this is the build, you know, and like he yeah. he thinks he's safe. Because he's like, yeah, you know, go 1 1 1 and then 3rd CC is a little safer than, like, you know, your 3rd CC after Factory and before Starport. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think from a Terran perspective, it's just like, if you went two racks first, I mean, I might, like, 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 like the Nidus is already up and, and it, like, it's gonna take so long for those racks to come online that, like, it kinda doesn't matter and it's almost just kind of worth trying to just get the third base up so you can kind of replenish any SCD losses you oh, may have. Finish. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. I, I think this is game over. Oh wow. Really nice wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's like queens always go first. Yeah, and this is like super, super nitpicking. It obviously just happens to everyone. It's like not a big deal, but the uh, the marine that came out after the reaper uh, was accidentally rallied across the map, uh, and so if, you know if he had just made, like, like like was able to keep that alive, he could have been able to kind of scout for it. You know, patrolling or something like like I know it's out of your base and it's just you know slightly less DPS, but yeah, just this is just so much Zerg and it's on your yeah. production. This is no good. And G, I feel like Alex should have stayed here, like not gone past this extractor and this and this factory with those with those SCVs because they were able to get surrounded by the speed links. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's still maybe over. Probably so. Yeah. It's yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty, definitely pretty rough. Yeah, well, it's just you know the the two Hellions aren't gonna deal enough damage to the Nidus. Right, 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 right. Like, I wonder, I wonder. If you just like, if you could build like one tank and just have vision, I feel like you're safe from most Nidus's. Um, but I wonder if that's too awkward from a build perspective. Um, yeah, that's a, that's that's a good question. Uh, let's see. I'll start our entries off here in the bottom left. The yellow Easy Dog Man himself. Down 01 in this in this series, it is Alex Kid. And in the upper right hand corner, we have going for a 12 pool in Zerg versus Terran. It is Jamet's Rainforest. Yeah, I don't uh, see that much from anyone that I can think of recently. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's a good build if Terran sends an SCV to scout. <laughs> uh, you yeah. just make your CC on the high ground. I feel like I see 12 Watch for maybe, bust and you're fine. more in ZVP. Oh, oh, no, I know what this is. I know what this is. This is the only, only Ravagers. Mm, okay. Right. Yeah, double okay, gas. This, this is actually pretty strong. For some reason, I think I've just been playing too much ZVP. <laughs> I've just been thinking uh, twelve pool just means means links into macro. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this will this will uh, he's gonna hit with 
a lot of Ravagers really early. And I, I'm actually not sure what the what the best response to this. I think Sue came out with his build once, like won a game with it, and then it's just pros know the response now. Yeah, I, but I actually do not know the response. Yeah, the um actually Pig has a video on this and he kinda goes over he goes over two different types of um I mean like I think it was like from a very old patch. Um, but he, he he seemed to very like very much like Keen's response to it, which was basically, you know, like uh, you as soon as you scout that it's coming, you float your barrier from the top of the wall, get the bunker, like to kind of fill the wall, and then you basically get a tank and then make them walk into tank fire to kill the bunker when like while not sacking your tank. Okay. Um, it's like very very particular. I mean, I've seen some people go with cyclones as well. Um, I think that could be okay, but oh yeah, this, it requires a lot more micro. Yeah, it's more micro intensive, but also it's just like you. I, th I think you really want the splash damage because I think it just really scares the Zerg away from really like overly committing, right? Because like if you have three Ravagers bunch on a ramp, like that tank is just gonna shred them. Versus like you know like logging onto one, you know having them waddle away from it and that kind of thing, you know. So yeah, okay. He sees he sees the Ravagers now. Yeah. Um, I I also feel like Alex kid did an interesting response of like he didn't even. Oh, I guess. Maybe he, he had such a late scout uh, with the SCV because he didn't see the uh, you know the the natural timing versus like a regular 16 pool right because 16 pool like you're just trying to cancel the or, like delay the CC. Yeah yeah the slow ground bunker are very very adventurous from Alex Kid here. Ooh no cancel. Oh my because god is this this is just gonna be deadly I think. Yeah I think so as well. If he can't it do this early one. on the biles but yeah. Oh, yeah, that's brutal. Okay, nice. Yeah, going for the cyclone response. I mean, with only three avengers here yet, I mean, like, it, sh it should be okay, but you have two more coming across the map. Um, yeah, it could be... Oh, yeah, this is, like, is going to be tough. Vials have been so effective. Yeah. He hasn't lost a ranger yet, right? I nope. I, I don't believe so. Yeah. Rainforest has been microing it really well. Yeah. Like, cutting those two back. Uh, and yeah, Alex. Oh, Alex is just dead here. Yeah. Yep. Man. Yeah, two workers. Too many ravagers to zone them here. And only two yeah, workers pulling the injured ones back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that's just brutal. Yeah. That's brutal. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Wait, have not between games? <laughs> okay, okay. I see what you're, I see what the problem is here. Okay. Scouting this. <laughs> yeah, scout timing is what you need to see. <laughs> what the response needs to be. I mean, not to toot our own horn. Okay, I think I, I, I think I see what the problem was there. Okay, he says All no right. sound now. Okay, is it, is it working now? All right. Sound. Hello, Alex, kid. 
Okay, all right. But I think it was, yeah, it was on this, this intermission screen. The sound was messed up. It's, I think it's working now. <laughs> oh, this is this is this has been rough. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It seems like you, it seems like you can hear us now, which is good. But yeah, I think in summary, just to kind of give some tips to Alex here, in brief, uh, there's a pig video on how to hold that push, and like die, you'll put like bunker positioning and things, and also with your SAV scout, you should go into the main. If you don't see a hatch, don't just walk away. It's very important. Spawning in to the bottom left hand corner of Oxide LE from Team Platinum Heroes, the Red Zerg, tagged once. In the upper right with the cheese logo. Mm, interesting. In his own clan, it is the Blue Terran player fan. <laughs> you know, you, you gotta rep yourself sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe if you're a crazy person, but you Do you know, think he talks you know. to himself in clan chat in game? <laughs> I mean, actually, does clan chat even show up if you only have one person and it's just you? I wouldn't know. Because <laughs> I think typically, like, like, I've definitely joined, like, not clan channels, but, like, chat channels, and if you're the only one in there, it just doesn't even show up. Yeah, but clan is different, right? I, I, I don't know. I've, I've never been in a one-man clan. Well, but I'm no. I'm saying like it's just different to the normal channels. Like it's green. <laughs> well, right, right, but but like it, but like it still like displays in the same way on the right side. So. Uh, true, true. I don't know. Okay, so it seems like I mean fairly normal build so far. So nothing to indicate. Oh wait, is it okay? Gas pool. Okay. Yep. Yeah, everything standard. Um, so these two players also uh, were in Group D. So Group D had you know two Zergs, two Terrans. Um, and was kind of the the oddball because the rest of the groups uh, had a lot of Protoss. <laughs> yeah, that uh, sounds like my had, personal nightmare. <laughs> we had two groups that were three Protoss and one Zerg, and one group that was two Protoss, one Terran, one Zerg. Yeah, the entire finals I think has been pro has been Protoss heavy to some extent. Well, really, just light on Terran. Like both in terms of the overall ranking during the yeah. like the last six months or whatever, and then also in the stage one qualifier. Oh, I think okay, I, I kind of know. So I think the third person in the ranking is probably Smart Asian guy, but he hasn't been playing, oh, yeah. and he's he's Terran, and also Slipchip is Terran, but uh, he switched to Toss for this one. Yeah. So that that kind of you know explains why our our Terran representation is is a bit That's lower, yeah, and Slipchip of course Maurice wasn't able to join us. Yeah. Uh, yes, unfortunately, real life things causing problems. Oh man, feels sure. bad. Yeah, you are letting your race down, Maurice. I, I know, I know. I, I mean, I'm here in the caster seat finally to push back on the Zerg bias that is in every cast that Volnux runs. It's, I mean, Shu Yu's pointed it out. It's just disgusting. So I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to to right the wrongs. <laughs> That's because there's so much anti-Zerg bias everywhere else. This is our safe space. <laughs> okay, sorry, I I didn't mean to go into your bubble, but yeah, uh, but just but just sorry. you know, I mean I mean honestly, Volnox, I mean you can feel safe around me because the only thing I hate is Protoss. Okay, so it's it's fine, it's fine. We're all on the same page. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I really don't like how this Reaper hasn't gone in. Like he hasn't seen a third, and like yeah, he's going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, but I feel like you need to scout the main if you don't see a third at this at this point, because uh, he's getting bane busted and he's not prepared. Yeah, he has a depot <laughs> at the at the natural wall here. Well, I mean, I think with this early with bane bust, you give up the natural, but like yeah. he's gonna have like two hellions when this hits. Like I don't even know if he can get his. Like I don't know if I have time to get four hellions. Oh yeah, this is gonna be. Oh yeah, a little bit. Oh, the Helens get surrounded instantly. Uh -oh. oh, that's terrible. Oh yeah, that's brutal. That's brutal. Can he run into? Okay, hopefully the Helens pop on the on the in the main. Like otherwise, I think this game might just be over. Yeah, honestly. He, he he has to rally. Uh, okay, on nice. The main. No, yeah, just sometimes you get pretty unlucky with your panic clicking there. Yeah, both depots go down. Super supply blocked. Yeah, and this is this is game over. I like how I like how tagged once you know hit the middle building. I feel like a lot of Zergs they're like, oh, I hit the depot, right? But if you actually hit the, 
was a pause. <laughs> that, 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 this was a trap pause right there, I think. <laughs> I mean, just like, I, I just like all those technical <laughs> problems just to come back to. Okay, the, well, yeah. I, I think the game was already over, you know. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah. GG. <laughs> yeah, GG. Yeah, I, I just don't think Fan scouted. You know, he he saw there was no third, and no no alarm bells rang in his head. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's uh, it's pain. Like pain. I wonder, do you see do you see that much two base Mita on Oxide? That is is that the first thing you assume? Because like Oxide's good two base Mita map. But uh, um, yeah, I mean from my from my experience, I mean it's like on NA it's always roaches. <laughs> everyone makes roaches. I mean like Mutas will come, but like everyone makes roaches. Okay. Um, but he, yeah, it, it just seemed like Fan was totally unprepared. Yeah, yeah. Blame on the Wi-Fi. Blame on the Wi-Fi. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we're gonna be heading into game two on the light shade. Yeah, we we have been seeing some aggression uh, from the Zergs in the ZBT match. Yeah, I know. What's past few games? Yeah, what the heck's going on? Spawning into the upper left hand corner from Team Platinum Heroes, the Red Zerg player tagged once. In the bottom right, fans, biggest fan, the Blue Terran fan. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, fan can uh, pull, pull something together here. Because, I mean, like, if I were him after that first scan, I'd be like, you know, I'd just be, it's like, oh, come on, really? <laughs> and the entire team is counting on him. That's right, that's right. <laughs> True. Okay, do you, do you guys feel worse when, like, you lose a game just because, like, like of, like, a dumb mistake? Like, you didn't scout. Or do you feel worse, like, when you lose a game, like, that it's, like, a close game and then you lose? Oh, I, I feel worse when it's just, like, something, like, that could be kind of boiled down to something that's pretty simple. Like, not scouting or, yeah. like, not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, just, like, not appreciating the threat that your opponent is because I mean, it's like i played games and like we're just like i'm just like ah, i mean like this looks aggressive but like i don't think they would do that right and then they do it and i lose and like i'm like full tilt <laughs> yeah. so it's yeah it's real bad like i i guess for me I'm, I'm more of the opposite i think i'm more fine losing a game to like basically like one major mistake for myself like not scouting than like then i have the feeling of like getting outplayed over a longer game Mm, yeah, th yeah, that's interesting because I think for me, like, if it's like a longer game, you know, I feel like I'm I'm kind of like playing closer to my potential, and I think if I lose, and like I think I'm just less mad because it's either like they're just better, or it's just like, you know, I don't know, it just it, it just feels like you know like the 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 delta between how I performed and how I want to perform is not that large, and I think for me, like whenever it that expands and like my tilt and anger always goes <laughs> it goes linearly with that i think uh, okay okay yeah well next your thoughts i think in a way it does feel better to lose because of something big and obvious because it's like there's a there's a fix that you can do it's like okay, yeah just, that's my this, you know no um, yeah for sure for sure but i also hate the feeling that like i just gave away my mmr for like no reason you know <laughs> yeah like, yeah yeah, because I, mean, I think for me personally, I think I mean, especially playing like somebody like Protoss, because I mean, you know, oftentimes like just scouting is like not like it can be very frustrating, especially like trying to find a proxy and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, where it's just like you know you can kind of boil it down to something very simple, but like you could still just like it's like oh it's two gas. I mean I scout two gas and like the second pylon's not there. It's probably Stargate, right? But then it's like you know like playing against heroes. So I mean, he went like double Robo on me one time. Just like what the fuck is this? And, you know, uh, and it's like horses, oh. boys. But uh, we're getting the same build again. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I think they're like this worked beautifully in the first game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I, I think Fan is respecting this now because he's actually putting his main or his natural into the main. He used um, the nexus to, to kill the Overlord that was on the pillar there. <laughs> yeah, which is actually pretty good for I mean yeah, for an all in. So it's like. Center. Yeah, but definitely yeah. want to see bunkers though. So yes, like I wonder if he's. But like I, I, what I don't like is he hasn't scouted to see if it's roaches or a vein bust. You know. Mm, right. See. Right. Yeah. Like the reaver's going back that. now, and like okay, I guess now he sees it's it's a vein bust, and like th yes, that's what he's been assuming. But uh, if this were 
you know, roaches instead, he'd be dead. Right, right. Okay, the wall's coming down now, which is obviously a massive improvement over game one. Yeah, Would like say yeah, a bunker like, here, maybe some like eBay's or something as well, because like they're, they're like they're just so high HP, and also like like a lot of these buildings are very close, so we'll have to see. Yeah, well, I think the hell encounter. Oh, oh no! Why would you call that the fire? <laughs> oh, oh, and there's a gap. Oh no, that's so unfortunate. Wait, what? I mean, granted, like I can kind of understand the panic from fan there, because it's like that's all, like his, like all of his depots are right there. So the yeah. <laughs> Uh But oh man, that, yeah. I mean, like this. is Definitely starting to look, like, starting to uh, look like a better hold from last game. Getting like some pretty good, you know, mining up in between the mineral patches. I mean, like, like yeah. not too many workers going down. Only two. There's so many yeah, that are it's kiting well. Yeah. But also, yeah, tag hasn't been injecting, which is the huge problem. Like, I think if he was properly injecting, like he's missed two injects. Yeah. That's, you know, okay. So two injects. That's. Uh, that's six, wait, yeah, that's, wait, no, it was four injects, because it's on two base, so that's like 24 more links. <laughs> and no. I, like, I think, you know, 24 more links ends the game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I like, I mean, like, you know, like, I obviously Fan has the Banshee out here, like, like, definitely nothing wrong with scouting around, like, with the Banshee and stuff like that, but I think having this many Hellions is kind of out in the middle, because it's like... The chance oh, of your yeah. opponent just macroing out of this is so low. Really good run by. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's brutal. Okay, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I, I think the Hellions stay home and you send the Banshee across, right? Yep, yep, yep. That's exactly what I was thinking. Cause it's, I mean, like, 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 like the Banshee just gets so much free scouting here. Like you can just poke outside your natural, your fourth, your third. You can go see if the Zuri's taking a third. Like you know, you don't have to waste any scans or anything like that and you just keep all your aliens like on the ramp or something you know just line everything up mm -hmm. like, this is also really dicey i mean like honestly like splitting the aliens too like i think that's also super super dicey yeah so i, mean, I think he's only like only, only gonna lose one hellion from that which is not bad he's gonna send oh. the other three in oh he's kind of lucky he gets the creep tumor just because it was near the queen <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, he's very yeah. fortunate <laughs> yeah and also, that kind of stuff is super tilting as a Zerg. I'm like, really? You didn't even scan? Like, it, it just happened. <laughs> <laughs> so tag going lair as a transition. There's still... Okay, work count is even. Um, which obviously favors the Terran. Especially because the Terrans will be on 3cc uh, very soon. As this third one is finishing up. Um... You think, but maybe a Muta switch? Yeah, I mean, that seems like the most likely to me, but he, he's only on one gas, though. Like, typically you would need more gases by now, no? Yeah, I think you would start. But the, I, it's also a weird situation in that, because you, you want the other gases after you saturate your um, natural. Mm, I see. So I'm not see. really sure what's happening. I, I, th I guess he was, he was just floating a lot of both larva and minerals, like, like nine drones out now. Um, okay. I would have liked to see Fan keep the Banshee alive. I think just having it alive and scouting is more important than like the one extra queen he killed. Yeah, I mean he does have a second Banshee alive, which is really nice. But unfortunately, like I don't think he's scouted this other base yet, and I think he may have just accidentally f 2 it back home. Um, he does have a poor ba <laughs> poor barracks floating in the natural as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so so okay. maybe just some some post all in jitters here from Mister Fan. Yeah. It's probably like your your base layout is not like the way you want it because you have like random buildings, <laughs> random places, random depots. Yeah. Oh yeah, all those depots are great. Like, like like this weird arc with the add-on, and I think there's even a gap in, like next to the add-on as well. Um, but yeah, I oh, think... yeah, links get in. Um, yeah, I'm oh, gonna grab a tank. a tank. Fortunate. Yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, I, I, I feel like tagged once. I mean, he like kind of you know spritzing in some drones here, but like still going pretty okay. Yeah, making some drones now, but just before I mean, like was making qu still quite a few links though. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's you know not great as Zerg when you have to make both units and workers, right? You always right, want to be right. making purely workers up until the point you need an army. Yep. Yep. 
Um, it's just how Larva works. Um, and I think it's it's been a little a little wishy washy from from tagged once. Yeah. Because I think sure. other than that, and like you know the the initial uh, missing injects uh, during the push, I think they played really well. No, yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, well, yeah. So we do have the third orbital come uh, down and mining for fan here. Uh, it seems like both players now kind of like settling in like into their macro groove as like the floats kind of start to die down to more normal levels, which is always good to see. Uh, but Dagger once did, I think, I didn't see the exact time, but it seemed like a very close to a double expand for the third and the fourth. I'm not sure, like, did you guys see that? Yeah, uh, it was like when ha one was halfway done. Okay, okay. So, like, I I think they realized, like, you know, the third is late, so just get the fourth. Especially if you're going, like, a Link style, you need the Larva. Yep, yep. Okay, here comes Fan across the map. 28 things in production, about half of them just spawned. Nice transfuses by Tag though. Yeah, I yeah. Just, Fan doesn't have any AoE here, which is gonna get really scary. <laughs> yeah, there's no AoE and there's also no combat shields, and like you've got Banelings with Banelings speed, uh, I mean, potentially coming out soon, so if he, dive, like, if he dives too far on Creep, I mean, like, it could just very well be game. Yeah, and uh, all these burns are so low. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah the lack of combat shields here just really showing through, I think. Yeah, like I actually don't mind this if he just, you know, was just poking at creep a bit more, and like you just oh, force sure. the Zerg to make units, and like yeah. you just never take a fight. I think would have been very very strong. I love this one changeling that like can see if he's actually retreating through the bush or not. It's so smart when tagged ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is really nice. Like you see if he's rallying. Oh, it's so, it's so well placed. Oh, big bane hit! Yeah, massive bane hits. And yeah, see, he can back up. He can back up because he sees the tanks are sieged. <laughs> uh, but normally, like this would be great for a fan. Like you, you get you get the units funneling into the choke, and like all of a sudden, three tanks. But that that is like one of the most value changelings I've seen. No, for sure. Unfortunately, it's, it's time is is running out. No, yeah, and and, and also I think. Um... I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, like as you mentioned, Wizard. I mean, fans doing a really good job of forcing tagged ones to really just keep making units. I think tagged ones has been on forty nine drones for some time, like for like yeah. some time now, and like the worker differential just seems to kind of keep changing. I mean, like, I mean, unfortunately, these banings don't get. Mm. Yeah, because I mean, like he's going pretty much pure marine here with no combat shields. <laughs> so it's very, very scary. Yeah, and just like tagged ones, he's been floating quite a bit, and I think the problem is like there's four gas. You know, so it's yeah. you're you're really hurting your your ability to get more drones, and you're just kind of you know pouring everything into into units right now. Tag is really uh, makes it really hard. Buys. Yeah, yeah. I think their APM is really high. Yeah, L look at look how much APM Tag has. Um, oh, more. <laughs> That's like, well, <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Okay, we do have combat shields at the same time as 2 2, so, you know, better late than never. Oh, not uh, the greatest bane connections. No, no, not at all. And, like, although I think I, I think it may work to kind of push through the Zerker, I, I, like, I would have liked to see Fan kind of, like, drop either, like, into the main or, like, if he had scouted the fourth yet. Like, and, and, like, like just send just, like, one Metamax worth, and because, like, you're already making the Zerk kind of respect you in the middle of the map, right? So it's, like, you're kind of drawing, like, all that, like, their attention in. And like, I mean, most of the defense was queens, right? I mean, like you like, like tagged had some links, some banes, but like never like an overwhelming amount. And like, if you just kind of drop somewhere else and make the queens walk into tank fire to like try to displace that, I mean, like that'd be pretty huge. Yeah, I also think like putting a tank or two on like this corner in the high ground is really strong. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I, I think pushing from like that top ramp, I think would have been a better spot. But I mean, I mean, obviously for Alex, it's still or not Alex, good fan, <laughs> it's still working really well. Um. Ooh, that uh, one, like one HP medevac fool. Ooh, does lose it unfortunately. And so I guess one saving grace here that tagged once does have is that he he is gonna have an upgrade lead for the next thirty ish, forty ish seconds here. Oh wow, yeah, twenty two workers going on. Oh That's my massive. god, I didn't even see that. Yeah, kind of forcing uh, fan to go all in here. I mean, you say that, but fan is tied with workers. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, yeah, I guess that's true. And he also has the fourth down here that are that's like already up and fully mining. So, um, 
Honestly, I think one of the big things this game is since Tag forgot to take his like or like didn't take their third early enough, like we saw like more gases instead. Mm -hmm. But he's just had too much gas the entire game. It's like you. I think you need to realize like okay, pull out of gas. You know, we need the minerals. Right. Right. And I think that's that's what's gonna really kill him this game. Is yeah, like, the upgrade he, evening out here. No really like like no banes really like available here as well, killing the ones that are morphing yet. Yeah, yeah, GG's cool. Wow, that was a good game. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna make a stupid comment where I was just gonna say fan refusing to be tagged twice. But no. <laughs> 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 Definitely not worth the the build up there. My apologies, chat. That uh, payoff is totally worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Uh, all right, we we have a first uh, one one series. Uh, yeah, I'm into it. I finally chose a good series. <laughs> well, I mean, that was I guess if tagged once, bean bust again. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I I I like the. Uh... The Tortle versus Michitami series, that was uh, really entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Alright, spawning in. To the bottom right hand corner of Romanicide is our Red Zerg player from Platinum Heroes, tagged once. In the upper left, a fan's fan, the Blue Terran from Clan Fan, it is the Man Fan. Also, fans, uh, I believe their username on Discord or whatever is like Weffen, like W E P H E N mm -hmm. or A N. I don't remember. But and I think it's. I think he also is uh, Leo. No, I he's think... not Leo. Oh. Leo's someone else. Leo's oh, from your clan. I know. Somebody told me that they're, like they're the same person. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't think so. I've, never heard I've of that. played both of them. Leo is from. He's in. He's a from Asia. China. From China. Yeah. yeah, or Hong Kong, I think. Um, and I believe when I played Fan, they were like NA. Oh, were like, they okay? NA times. Okay, or maybe, maybe they were just, lying to me. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe they're just awake at NA times. Because <laughs> I, I I think they have the exact same avatar on Discord, which is conspicuous. Oh yeah, I saw that. But it's just a generic Terran avatar. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like yeah, right. it's not a, a huge conspiracy, you know. Like they both play Terran. How many how many Terran avatars are out there? Like, right, right, Terran right. Logo. Right, right. Because I think yeah, there was also someone else with the Terran logo, but like it was a slightly different one. Right, so, right. Yeah. Not very creative. So I mean, you kind of expect it. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, they just, they just follow their build to a T, and they're like, ah, yeah. you know, something yeah. changes when they can't follow the build, and they just fall apart. Yeah. I mean, just a quick question for both of you guys. How'd that work out for you against me, huh? If I thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm, just teasing. I'm just teasing. I mean, it, it, it worked out okay for me. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't played in a while, Maurice. You gotta sign up for some tournaments. Uh, yeah, man, one v one, me, bro. Come on. <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I plan on trying to get into the, uh, the next Coliseum if I can. Cause I, uh, yeah, I just, you know, super rusty, obviously. Yeah. But. Should also so I think today. Uh, is that is that D two? Uh, D D one. Oh, it's D one. Okay, nice. Yeah. As soon as I thought. <laughs> oh wait, is 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 that like the multi week one? Yeah. Okay, yeah, unfortunately, I, I think I might be in Europe, or might be moving to Europe in the middle of that. What? Didn't uh, you just move? <laughs> no, yeah, I, I moved from the West Coast to the East Coast of America to be with my family while my European visa gets sorted out, and then I'll be moving to Europe. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so kind of multi multi stages, pretty annoying. <laughs> Wait, but, where in Europe are you going? Uh, I'll be going to Germany. Oh. Yeah, so nice. I'm trying to learn my German. I, uh, I changed my in game language to German and then I tried to join a chat channel and I got an error in German and I couldn't understand it so I had to go back. But yes, to Deutsch. And it's yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it's kinda of funny because actually I didn't realize this but actually in German they actually have like different names for some of the maps. Uh like light shade is shot and leaked. And I think oxide is like oxid or something like that. Like I don't know I actually know how to pronounce it but 
it actually messes up your SC2 replay stats. Because they're oh, actually, really? like, they're, like, they're seen as different maps. Will you do some German casting for us? We have, like, two German players. I I mean, right now I make it barely <laughs> oh introduce my myself. Uh... <laughs> Fan just... Built a yeah. tech lab, cancelled, built a reactor, cancelled, built a tech lab. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this is actually quite interesting. Just a, a bit of nerves, maybe, and he was, he was floating quite a bit. So, yeah, I don't know. What's going on? Now, he's usually also, been dropping the third command center around now. I think. Yeah, yeah. There, there he goes. Yep, typically, yeah, the uh, the second gas is going to be well, the big be tell the for the... Right? Uh, right. typically, yeah. Why? Man, Tag gets a ling in again. And, like, just gets so, so much good scouting, and, like, this it's just so annoying for the Terran. To yeah. deal with, like, one yeah. or two lings. Yeah, that's amazing. I feel like I've never get that to happen. Yeah, I, I, I don't either. But, like, I, I think it's just... You, you probably don't try as often yeah, as Tag does, like, with, like, the, right. with the APM. Like, yeah, you, you you have the APM to afford to send, like, a Ling in every 30 seconds, you know? Right. Whereas, like, I try it once, they get killed by Halen, I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> and actually, what's kind of crazy, and, like, I mean, like, like, I don't know too much about it, but it may be inflated for Zerg, but, like... Ooh, nice Tag surround. Yeah, uh, Tag once is effective APM is actually 174, which seems, like, also very good. Oh, uh, I don't put like, I think, uh, it's just all general, uh, or, so effective, um, like, what does that not include? I, I think it's just, like, I think, I think it's just duplicate commands, or, I mean, like, and, like, like I, I could be totally wrong, but, like, that's just how I hear other people talk about it, it always sounds like that. Hmm, I don't know, but, uh, I, like, I don't think, uh, it would, uh, not inflate for Zerg. I think it's probably still inflated for Zerg. Um, just because of, uh, like, you build more units, you know? Right, right. Um, but also, like, Zerg does have, like, a lot of things that take, like, more APM. Like, you have more, like, APM taxes, right? Like, just, mm -hmm. uh, um, like, when you build an Overlord, you also have to position it. You know, you, you have to spread creep, you have to inject, um, Right, and you have right. to do those a lot more often than like the other macro mechanics. Um, so that's like kind of like legitimate like APM inflation where like you actually have to do more. And then there's like ah, I hold down the Z key and my APM goes to a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So yeah, unfortunately here, speaking of taxes, I think Fane is paying the lose my hellions across the map tax, where tagged once his creep is just kind of getting out of control and he's made a fifth base. Already, and Fane is just now landing his third. Um, yeah, pretty pretty painful, I think. Cause, I mean, like, if I was a Terran player here, I, I, I would not feel good or would even want to go on the map and, like, <laughs> somehow there's a Ling run by into the natural yeah, again. Oh, his Ling run by is so good. It is constantly so, so annoying. And, like, we see we see Fan, and he's floating so much, like, trying to deal with this all. Like, it just feels yeah. like he's getting out multitasked. Yeah, for sure. Should also point out, I, I saw that there was um, the game. Oh my god, these mines. mules are mining! There's like some of the mules are mining. They're just sitting there. Oh Chula. no, oh no. Or three, three. There's oh. three mules just sitting there. And the third, oh no. Oh yeah, that's just, that's just pain. <laughs> oh yeah, mind. like it really feels like he's just falling apart with the multitask. Yeah. But like, all that being said, like, Zerk actually hasn't droned up that much. And I hate how they're taking 10 gas. Like, you can't, you're taking 10 gas on 63 workers? That's that's half your workers in gas. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's actually, yeah, I mean, I got, I got hydrogen coming down. I have a hive as well, so, yeah, I mean, if, if I was a fan, I, I would just be dreading this moment of actually having to go on the map. Yeah. Although, like, I, I don't know if it's gonna, like, be that bad. Cause I, you know, I don't like Tag wants to transition to the late game. Um, but there's gonna be a huge, uh... Yeah. I wouldn't even call this a run, but, like, this is their whole Oh, the depot's down? Oh, he gets in over the depot, oh my god. I have a bit of a base trade situation. Oh my god, he's gonna blow up the double depots. The, the... 
cooldown supply. Oh yeah, one of at eighty five now. Fan will get this fifth base though. Um, but yeah, at the same time, man, his natural is basically not mining at all. His main is slowly being ransacked. Like this is, this yeah, is just pain. Start to clean it up. Um, but I don't think he killed enough on the other side. You know. Yeah, no, he didn't. Like tagged once is able to reinforce faster, like building links, yep, yep. and can can chase this away uh, a lot better. There are queens on Fan's front door. <laughs> <laughs> like this creep is insane. Yeah, this is this is really well done. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 like there's no wall, so they at least can just go in the natural gun. Oh my god, this is pain. Oh my god, yeah, the multitask is insane here. So well done for tag. Yeah, I've always thought like tags mechanics. We're, we're quite strong and then I think they're like the type of player that'll get a lot better like you know once they have a little more game knowledge yeah yeah I mean I think surprisingly still like on a relatively low drone count for as like as a commanding lead as they're in right now but yeah 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 but, but, but like at that point it's kind of nitpicking because I think this game may be well also I mean I think gone. they had a base of drones that was good but yeah, like, you could easily go up to, like, 80 workers. Like, you're definitely safe enough to do that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 14, 15 more workers going down in Fan's Natural here. Man, this is, this is, this is like a queen lock, but these are just creep queens. Like, the creep is just <laughs> that insane. <laughs> Like it's it's probably not a conscious decision that like tag is like yeah I'm gonna bring queens with this push it's like no my creep queens like they were just here <laughs> <laughs> my creep's just that good another ling run by into the third yeah just... oh Bane's coming in too oh not the great the the marauders with the concussive shells doing work oh my god Mul yeah multi prong ling run by ling's getting to the main this tag does this is Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you just play Roach. <laughs> yeah. And if they if they run by, uh, you just shove your roaches into them because they have less roaches. But yeah, this is so well done, and like I I feel for Fan. You know, he's just getting pulled everywhere. Yeah. Tag has way too much gas. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've seen like in the game in in game two. I think that was like one major reason they lost because I think they you know maybe were only a little behind after like you know the bane bust didn't do quite as much you know because no injects uh, behind it. But uh, yeah, just the the early gases really hurt. Yeah, setting up a huge. I don't even think. Tag is bothering with flanking. He's just like, instead of flanking an army, why don't I just run by in two places at once? <laughs> right, right. Here comes the other side. God. We need to see the workers lost. Oh my god. Huge veins. Jeez, 88, wow. 88 SCVs going down that game. Jesus. 89 and only 11 drones. That's. Whoa. And I mean, and, like, and, SDVs. and honestly, like I feel like tagged also got quite a few mules as well. Which, like, oh I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I think good to see those, but it's just like, yeah. Well, and I think normally we see Fan as like a much stronger player than that, but I think that was just like extreme out multitasking. Yeah, and, like yeah. we saw like you know his macro slipping, his micro slipping, just because like he couldn't keep up that game. Yeah, just 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 really really well played by by tag there. Yeah, it was it was quite impressive. But no, that, that was a good series, 2-1. Very competitive. Alright, who, who, do, who do we got next, Bullnox? Well, let's see, let's do Eurixo versus character. Okay. Actually gonna oh, be... I think I heard a bit about the series. Because, you know, these, these guys were in my group. Yeah, I don't think we've Casted any, definitely not any Eurixo yet. Character we have, because, wait, no, no, no. Character also qualified from the ranking. Yes. So, yeah, so this would have been both. Wait, there. so all three of us qualified from the. 
ranking. Oh, really? Yeah. So, huh. yeah. Dreamatos was the only one in our group that qualified through the the opening. Uh, not the the, the open like first round. That's weird. I thought it was two and two in each of them, but maybe. Oh, well, cause we had a we had a swap. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Wait, but did did that. Tortle did Tortle qualify through that? Cause I swapped Tortle character. I don't know. So maybe there are other swaps. Yeah. I don't uh, don't remember. Yeah. All right. So spawning into the upper right hand corner of Oxide Ali is the Korean Protoss player Yurixo. And in the bottom left-hand corner, our yellow Protoss from Platinum Heroes, it is character. Not sure what team Eurixo's on, on his home uh, team. I don't think he's on a team. No, okay. I wonder, you know, how how the scene is over there. If if clans are, are as big or not. Because um, I know when you go and like, rank for the win, like, I think the there's like Chinese clans that are huge. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I don't know if uh, you know Koreans have the same, you know, clan community type thing. <laughs> Characters can rushing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just gonna say there's a there's a forge building. <laughs> okay, oh my god! Does he get the probe? Okay. Oh, oh so my close, god! Though. So close. Oh my god. One. Wow. Oh, he gets the second one. It's a perfect surround by Eurex. That's amazing micro. Yeah. I he has really good micro, I've noticed. Yeah. Like uh I know I've played him a few times. His force field micro is so good. And like I feel like if if it weren't for Ravagers, uh he'd probably have like amazing PvZ. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, playing him in uh, TVP, I mean, like, I, I feel like in the games that like, I played against him, I feel like he's he, like he had me beat multiple times, but then he just overcommitted to whatever like aggro he was doing, and it kind of like, allowed me back in the game because like, I mean, TVP, like that's why I lose too. <laughs> it's just like people are just really good hitting really tight timings, which he's so good at. Uh, but yeah, yeah just we'll see doesn't like the cannon rush. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the top island's gonna go down for sure. Uh, Definitely a different type of game. If I'm not wrong, you need your own forge, right? I unfortunately have no clue about PvP. I believe you need your own forge, or you need, like, immortals right away. And he's building a second gate, which I don't like. I, I, I really think you need a forge, or you need immortals. You might but, hold this anyway, though. Yeah, wait, what happened to the character's probe that was in the cage? It looks like he lost he's Oh, okay. He's oh, he's back. another one? But this is not a good position. Yeah, it, this is so easily a pro pulled. Was it so Man, was it just was it just like catching the those initial uh I think so. I think it really set like your character off. Yeah, because I don't think Yurixo is holding this the correct way. He's just holding it by saying, I'm just going to micro 10 times better than you are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he has a Zelda Stalker on the way, and I mean, like, he can chip away at most of the stuff uh, in his natural from, like, from the high ground. So, I mean, it seems like he might be able to get by here. I mean, oh, there's a probe in <laughs> characters. Wait, is that what killed five probes? What did I... What? Was that a, was that a Zealot? I don't know what happened. Missed it. Because, yeah. like, I, I, like, I, like, cause, like, I... I saw like that, like the ticker going, and I went over and like this was one of Yurixo's probes being surrounded by a bunch of characters' probes, and there's five probes dead. I'm like, what the heck's going on? I feel like we need we need to go back after. This I, game I was and, yeah, and, I was very confused. Happened. Yeah, I think it's about like three ten, three twenty ish. If you want to check it out after, but yeah, I was, I was just so confused. Cause I mean, Yurixo's only lost a probe, so that's insane. He's held this so well. Yeah, this is this is yeah, actually look, look at the units lost. 1,212 for character, 50 for your Yeah, with, with the flapjack pylon. <laughs> the side yard slammer. <laughs> oh, oh, the side yard slammer. That's oh, this, this good on mul mul multiple levels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
with a flip a dub here, I think, for Yurik. So this is this is just brutal for character. I mean, oh, just kind yeah. of just losing all the momentum early on, and then you just kind of whoo. nice, nice mineral walk. But yeah, uh, yeah, I think both nice. players microing well. Yeah, I mean, like, 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 like the micro from character is pretty good, but like at the same time, I mean, like his whole main base is not mining. So I mean, you're down eight workers, and most of them are not mining. So yeah, I, I just think the hold was too good, you know. For sure, for like, sure. The Canterbury hold was too good. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think this game really living up to the uh, stereotypical PvP memes here. So <laughs> just, <laughs> just you know. I, honestly, I I do not know how Protoss players keep track of these these games. So Sometimes it's. I just wonder. I wonder if character thought Yurx was going to one get expand. Like, and I wonder if because he he had a lot of like he was kind of rushing kind of like the low ground at first. Yeah. Um. I guess there's not really any good high ground spots on this map. Um. I only really know Cannon Rush well in like ZPP, but. Uh, we know we know Yurix is not the type of person to uh, expand, you know. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Very very much. Like if he's not going to one gate expand, if he expands, it's going to be a two gate expand. You know, even even if it's on a map with high ground, because you, you normally see one gate expands, right? In uh, PvP, uh, if both like if you have a high ground, because one gate expand, you can hold two gate expand. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, GG just called it. I, I just feel like Yurixo just loves that four gate. Uh, I mean, he did it to me in TVP. Uh, obviously doing it. Yeah, with the, yeah, like let's see what the heck's going on in character's main at about three ten. Oh, I I left the game. I'll, I'll watch the stream. Okay. Yeah, it's just one probe killing other probes. Oh my god, <laughs> it's this whole position. That's so no. gangster. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's he's so just one. He's just one eighty no scoping these probes. This is disgusting, <laughs> dude. What a boss! See, and then it, I, I think it's a bit like like I think as, as soon as he kills one more probe, it's like when I tuned in, and I just see this probe getting surrounded. See, yeah, this like just all I saw. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> what a probe. <laughs> just yeah. Wow. Okay. That is the most gangster probe. <laughs> I've ever just seen. No, just no respect. Just slapping them like as they come by. It's like, nope, nope, nope. The fact that it's on hold position is better, you know? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's not, just not like 180. Like, 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 clicked on, like, attack on one, like, shift Q to another. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like the, um, what's that Simpsons meme where it's like, uh, there, there's like Bart and Lisa. That's like, uh, you know, like Bart's like windmilling his arms and Lisa's like throwing up kicks and it's like, it's not my fault if you run into me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, spawning in to Romanticide in the bottom right hand corner, the red Protoss player, Eurexo. And in the upper left hand corner, down a game. It is from, uh, it is character from Platinum Heroes. All right. So I feel like character is pretty, pretty cheesy when he plays Protoss. Uh, what, what do you think he's coming with this time? There's like a lot of good proxy locations on this map. Yeah, I was just gonna say I think Yurixo also might be doing something of a yeah. similar variety. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh my! And I was another forge for character. Wait, does he just win because Yurix is proxy? I don't know how these. I think yeah. so, right? I mean, I think this just breaks my brain. I'm actually not sure. Well, because, for example, like, the only time, like, Cannon Rush, like, is actually really good against Terran is when Terran proxy raxes. And the Cannon Rush is, like, a free win. Uh, yeah, yeah, so much. I mean, like, you can, like, you can also just float your base, but, yeah. Well, I mean, but, like, then the, then the Protoss can, can macro, and you're never well, gonna lose well, right. anything. Right, right. To, uh... Okay, so I yeah, cannon's gonna go up. We have three gateways for Eurixo. I feel like character needs to start thinking about putting cannons at the top of his ramp. Yeah. Oh, like and one thing that's hard on Romanticide side is like, like there's so much room, you know, to get to the main, like to get to the main nexus. Yeah. Uh, it might make it harder. Unless he's gonna go go for like a. But he doesn't have a soccer core up. 
Because I feel like you can do this with like a cyber core and like batteries and kind of like take a position here. Oh, he does get the probe of character though there with... Okay, here's another one, but... Yeah, these grabs the one. I don't like cages like this. It's There's too much surface area, and I think you lose too much. Like... Is he even gonna get, like get one cannon up? Yeah, cannon goes up, but I feel like there's gonna be too much surface area. How many probes? Was that? Yeah, I think that should be enough to kill it with the surface area. Yeah, now it definitely will be. Okay, two zealots going into characters main. Cause yeah, I I think there should have been a cannon here, or two cannons. Yeah, because that's, that's... Yep. What can he do? <laughs> you know. Okay, but character zealot comes into Yurik's main. Yurik's has enough energy to recall. Oh no! Oh, the character was, the character was trying to move the zealot, but the probes were hold position, so it actually didn't do any damage for a while, and the probes just killed the zealot. Oh man. Oh, that's pain. Okay, there's a, another cannon going up, but... Uh, Oh my god, Yurik's only has one probe on it. He's not attacking the... Oh, I guess oh, he's... He's, he's gonna kill the pylon. Okay. Cancels it. Gets the pylon. Okay. Yeah, character's down to only... Yeah, these these zealots have been destroying character's uh, mineral line. Yep, and also killing the forge now as well, so it's basically just the one pylon in the main. He can't make any okay. more cannons either. He dropped, he dropped a nexus. Yeah, Yurik's uh, is natural. <laughs> I really think character should have, like, you get two cannons on your high ground, right? And it's, uh, is that not game? <laughs> oh man, one probe in a dream, I guess. And, and now <laughs> Yurix is taking a proxy base. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess he can't expand to his natural. Makes sense. This is true. <laughs> oh, and, and the, he has his, his gateway. It's slightly on the... He, he couldn't take the rich gas base because the, the gateway is slightly... Oh, oh yeah. Did not right, think the, classic, the classic the classic four and a half minute uh, cyber core as well for your XO, so... Yeah, he, what was his plan? <laughs> like, was he was he going to go two gate fours or four gate? Because he has three, like, maybe he's going to go four gate and he only had time to build three. I mean, before he would love like, the four gates, yeah. Before he was like, wait a minute, some, something fucky's going on. Oh, in this game at one supply two minutes. oh two? He's on two supply. Two but supply. yeah, these can these cannons aren't ranged. Like, the, the zealots are just gonna kill the nexus. And that's game. Yeah, just really nice micro from Eurox over here, just taking off a couple of uh, zealots, making sure like they get their swipes before. Yeah, yeah. GG's yeah, called. GG. Craziness. Man, I I really think if character just had cannons at home, it would have been fine. But like, I also don't know about that like the map because right, he has a lot of distance he needs to cover on Romance's side to get to the Nexus. And like I'm not sure I'm not so sure that's good for like just forge can rushes. Like I know, for example, in PvZ, Romanticide is a really good cannon rush map. Um like not because of positioning, but because like if you're trying to hold high ground as Zerg, there's so much more you need to hold. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I don't know if, you know, that makes it bad in PvP. Oh, nice. we're doing my game? <laughs> yeah, I was just going to mention that. Alright, alright. Little wizard versus character. Um, I, this might be our last one for tonight. Okay, uh, sounds I good. I do want to try to cast at least another couple hours of stage 2 games here at some point. Maybe on Tuesday night. But um, for right now, though. Okay, I'm not sure I can make it Tuesday night. Um, if we do, I think, like Wednesday or Thursday, I can make it. Okay. Yeah. Or or you guys just do Tuesday and then maybe I'll do a separate thing on Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, yeah, because we do have stage three already. We're we were a little bit behind, but we're we're catching up. You guys want to take uh, these? 
Yeah. All right. In the upper left-hand corner of a Lightshade Ellie, we have our green Zerg with the hero color. He's the last Bastion of his race versus the three scummy Protosses in his group. It is myself, Wizard. Bit much, don't you think? No, I'm just kidding. No, yeah, and, I don't and, think and, it was quite enough. enough. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah, of I don't course. think I was giving myself quite enough credit. Really hold back there. <laughs> yeah, okay. In, in the bottom right from Team Platinum Heroes, the canning and rushing PvP phenom, except in the opposite direction, it is character. Uh, well, I, <laughs> spoilers, but I don't think you're going to be disappointed in, in character. <laughs> Is he very in character this game? He's very in character this game. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So yeah, I'm going for a total pool. You know, light shade, short map, total pool, good. Cheeky, cheeky. Ooh. And what do we see right, from sorry. character? Generally, <laughs> had the wrong screen up there for the first minute, but oh no! <laughs> it's okay, good thing we caught it. <laughs> but yeah, we see character. He's going for gate forge cannon rush. I will say that I don't think I've um, seen a Protoss with a skin before in that pylon, but like that pylon looks super cool in yellow. Isn't this just natural. a normal skin? No, that's spiced and up in some way. Oh. Or at like, least the color has changed. Yeah, well, I think it's like the color of, like, you pick yellow or orange, it's pretty, pretty bright. But so one thing I actually don't see this pylon going up. Because uh, I rallied, I think. Now I realize I need my Overlord above first, and then uh, move, move, moved out to the front. So like, yeah, I, I get here. Uh, there's like a Zealot, but uh, I see like I don't notice the uh, the cannon or like the pawns going out in my main. So okay. yeah, we will see how I deal with this. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, going into this series, were you, were you expecting character to whip out the the cannons here, or...? Uh, I was expecting something cheesy from character. I don't think I... Like, I wasn't expecting a cannon, I was trying to see this, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Um... So we saw that you just saw it right now when the hatchery finished. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I'm kind of panicking, like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Um... So you know we're gonna we're gonna take a new base, um, but yeah, I I wasn't really expecting uh, a can rush because um, I think in the past like I've shown I'm quite good versus a can rush like um, although recently, it, like I would say in the past like month or two I feel like I've gotten a lot worse at it or just you know I I had practiced it a bunch but that was all like six months ago yeah yeah because uh, I was like helping. Like, do you know who Panda Bear Me is? He's like an ex NA pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was working on a can rush guide, uh, and like I was like helping out a lot with, uh, you know, like, oh, is this response too hard to execute at the pro level, or you know, at like a diamond level? Um, so I was doing like a lot of customs with like a lot of good can rushers, um, even like some GM ones, and so I got really good at it. But it I, it's something that you have to really uh, like. You gotta use it or you lose it. Like your anti cannon right. rushing skill. And like to be fair, like as a cannon rusher, you have to practice it a lot. Because it's such a different type of game. Um, no, yeah, for sure. So yeah, I've been running customs a lot with uh, one of my friends who's like M1 cannon rusher. Oh, and, nice. Like losing a lot now. Uh, <laughs> which is sad because I was actually. I think I was actually beating him like more than 50% of the time. Like at, you know, my best. Oh, nice. Because I was just practicing a bunch, and now not practicing at all, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So, my my thoughts on this game were... I I forgot the creep is going to recede, and I was like, okay, I'm going to take out this pylon with my uh, my spines. But uh, I didn't realize the creep was receding, so I'm, I'm a bit late on this. So I'm, I'm definitely behind. You can see now, so it looks like you've not quite ca caught this, the vision of the Stargate yet. So I'm just double checking that right now. Yeah, it's, yeah so we'll, yeah, we'll get to see how you. Too preoccupied on, on my side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Wait, do I actually lose the spine? What am I looking at? Oh, no. 
no. Think so. uh, oh. oh, just the time. Oh, oh yeah, it's because the, the I was like, I, I think at this point I was like, you're kidding me. Like the creep doesn't actually reach. No. Um, so yeah, I think I wanted to expand to my natural, but like since like the creep is still awkward here, I'm taking this fourth, and like this is this is not looking oh, good no. for me. This spine is taking so much damage. Yeah. I mean, I don't think the damage, like, as long as they don't die, um, but it's just so awkward, because, like, there was, like, four or five separate times I thought that, okay, like, I'm in range now, and, like, look, look how many times I, like, I have to reposition this stuff. God, yeah, that's gonna be so annoying. Okay, there you go. We got it, we got it. Nice. Mission accomplished. Oh, no. it, it only took, what, like, two minutes of game time? <laughs> Right. Yeah, I mean I'm prepared for the void because uh, it killed it killed my overlord. So yeah, you know I I've got spores, I've got queens on the way, um, and like I'm I'm starting to to move towards. I guess you call this my third base. Um, although I'm a little late on the draw there, but like now like it's it's starting to look better for me. Um, I kind of wonder if character could have pressured a bit more. I'm not sure. Um, but right, drone count looking good, like tied at 40. Uh, now, like you'd expect the Zerg to outpace the Protoss, like once you hit the the 40 worker mark. Yeah, for sure. But coming also, I mean, I'm just looking at character's vision here. I mean, he saw all four of your bases here. So you, I mean, I mean, obviously I don't don't know much about that match, but I feel like that's like okay, the Zerg's obviously investing quite a bit into economy, and you've kind of stunted and made things awkward in the early game that you would probably like want to follow up with stuff. But it seems like okay, yeah, character just take it as third base now. So if there's gonna be pressure, probably not a whole lot, I guess. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm not so like I think it's more just the positioning of like the bases and like maybe like I don't have great creeps so far that you can maybe pressure. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I think he sees me, like, expanding, he expands, like, okay, that's fine. Um, but, yeah. Like, I, I do think he should be active with the voids, you know, is, yeah. is, is the only thing. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I'm kind of thinking what you're thinking, Maurice, where, like, he should, it seems like now would be the time to be aggressive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I'm actually, I mean, like, obviously just looking at the, the production tab here, I mean, Wizards, you know, double Evo, pumping out eight drones, <laughs> you know, taking some additional gas and stuff like that, he, he probably doesn't want to be, you know, m making a bunch of lings or, you know, or queens or hydras or something like that, right? So, but, yeah, but yeah maybe character just having some faith in his macro here, you know. Yeah, but. and I think for the past, like, minute or two, it was like, I think I saw, uh, I saw the third, so I felt safe, but I definitely haven't checked if he's probed the third, so this is greedy for me. <laughs> mm, yeah. yeah, I think, you know, I think I was, like, I was safe, like, a few minutes ago, like, doing what I was doing, but I should have rescouted to see, is he, you know, is he actually probing the third, is he taking the gases on the third? Right, I think right. if he was doing, like, a fake third all-in, I would have died. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just definitely, it's he putting out, is that his second Stargate? Yeah, it looks like a second Stargate in production. Yeah, Fleet Beacon. Got some uh, Colossus so pumping here. Transitioning so. Sky Toss. I don't, I don't like, I feel like the Colossus choice with Sky Toss, although I've seen, like, you know, people make it work. I think it's just, like, easier to control than Disruptors, you know? Right. But the, right. the nice thing about Disruptors is it's so hard to attack into them. So it can help you get Sky Toss up, whereas Colossus can't to the same extent. Oh yeah, he was having mouse issues, I forgot about this. Kind of unfortunate. Uh, so maybe, you know, that explains some some portions. Um, yeah, maybe. I think I'm just churning units out, because I have a vision of his potential forts. Yeah, you have a nice worker count now. Starting to yeah. attack and everything, getting some Hydra upgrades. It's a really nice um, transition by you, getting, you know, losing the natural to the cannon rush, having to, like, really deal with a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, I was definitely behind because I think I would have been okay 
Yeah. Uh, if like I got those spines attacking the pylon immediately, you know, <laughs> yeah. it just took me like two minutes because the creep was receding and like I'm like I have to build the creep back and like wait it's not there enough. So much so much repositioning with the spines and it was so awkward. But yeah, I think like as of this point I'm really comfortable um, where I am now just just macroing and like the plan is I I hit I hit maxed and then I attack you know. Yep. Yep. See, like, preparing for that now. I have like links for run by the rest of my army, the queens included. This is a really nice pickup, too, just starting off the fight with getting two shield batteries as well. Yeah, kind of for free. And yeah, links, links in the back. No, oh, yeah, very nice, very nice surround here. Yeah. Two batteries still I going just, strong, but. I don't yeah. feel like the class is doing it. Like, okay, Colossus has like four kills, and then, yeah, that's it. Like, okay, like, I get that there are like Roaches and Hydras, so like, you know, relatively more valuable, but I think uh, a Disruptor or two there would, would be much, much better. Because, it like, you, you can't split like Queens and Hydras off creep. Yeah, yeah. Like, they just die. And actually, and maybe this is just because like I'm not paid too close attention in this matchup before, but like, the character only has one gate, which I think is crazy. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, I'm like obviously he's going sky, sky toss, right? But yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> yeah, I think he usually like uh, some more, like especially by this point in the game. But Protoss can delay their their gate for for quite a while if they're going the Void Ray Disruptor style. Yeah. But yeah, just a really great fight, and it's just snowballing into the main here yeah i think it was it was a bit like i was uh a bit greedy at that one point where it's like i scouted the third uh and then i felt very safe yeah um but i you know i didn't scout whether he was like probing up his third and he was a bit slow in doing that so it was kind of the same thing where it's like you know even though he did it he did it slowly but if he you know was was building up for a fake third attack then I, I would die. So a little, a little, a little greedy on my end. All right, we're going to be heading into game two here on Pillars of Gold. All right, should be a good one. Let's see if character uh, get some cheeky cannons down here. <laughs> This might be the last time we ever see Pillars of Gold. I'm sad to see it go. Well, actually, if you queue up uh, Archon mode, they didn't change the ladder pool, so you can still, uh, <laughs> you can still play it. Yeah. Blizzard is, you know, great. They're, they're on top of things. Um, but someone else who's on top of things, also in the top corner, oh. it is the top player in this tournament in our hearts. It is Wizard. <laughs> you know, maybe not, maybe not map score, but in our hearts. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, you really went all in with that one. Uh, in the bottom uh, left, from the Platinum Heroes, the Cannon God, or Goddess Hide, who knows, uh, character. I'd be very curious to see character decides to put down, put down, put down a forge again here. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely watching to see what that first building would be, too. <laughs> I mean, you, you got to careful the second building. What's the yeah. second building going to be? Uh -huh. There it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> cheeky cheeky. Let's see, so will this will this will wizard character see it this time? He saw the probe go into a very awkward spot. Yeah. 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 Not again, says wizard. Yeah, and I I think it it was just. It was so long for me that I'm like, I don't, I barely even remember how to deal with cannon rushes. This is too early to cancel, because right, he can. Uh, I should have like forced him to make those buildings finish. So yeah. I'm definitely behind here. But yeah, it was kind of after this match that I was like, wow, I need to work on my anti cannon rushing skills again. 
like I had just I guess like coasted by on like I was doing it really well, you know, like beating a lot of masters cannon rushers. Uh and then that was like six months ago and I'm just out of practice. Washed. I just dude, washed I team. So you could have hit you could after, first. After the series, I was, I like hit up some of my cannon rusher friends and I'm like, okay bro, we need we need to practice again. And I'm losing every game now. Yeah. I mean he's, he's 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 like high masters, so it kinda sure, makes sure. sense I'm losing every game. But going from like when I was winning like more than half, yeah, versus like a master's cannon rusher to to this, <laughs> so yeah, I I'm like shit. Like I can't believe he got me again. And for some reason, I think I've always done poorly versus like character, because I, I I guess I'm always like thinking too much, like too scared of like what's gonna happen, because I know something's gonna happen. Right. Uh, when, when he plays Protoss. Because even, there was like a few times, I think twice, no. One, once he can rushed me, like, this was when I was like really good. And I was just so nervous, I didn't see it. Oh like, man. I, I yeah. had it in vision, and I was like nervous thinking about other things. Because he had beat me with like Glaives before, or like Proxy Robo. Uh, I think, you know, he, he almost took a game off me, and it was like really scary. So I'm like thinking about all these other things, and I just didn't notice. Like, I let the cannon finish before I noticed, and I'm like, oh my god. Because, uh, like, sometimes just, like, the, the tournament nerves get to you. Yeah. It's also kind of funny, too, because, like, one thing, like, because, like, I'm, I'm not much of a cheeser. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the one time I two ran or three maxed Volnox, I actually, like, I mean, I was glad that I won, but, like, I was, like, because usually, you know, like, with tournament games, like, after the first game, you kind of feel like you're, like, you're warmed up, you're kind of into it then, but like the game was so short that I was like, I don't think I actually warmed up at all and I actually kind of regretted it partially because I'm just like, my mechanics still feel like shit because it's just like, I was just like, you know, just panicking like, ah, oh, please don't die, please don't die, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. It's wild. Yeah. So, like, I think the one thing is I, I handled the transition out of the cannon rush a lot better. Yeah. Than the character because like l l look at the drone count like this is yeah this is almost game losing for already for the Protoss. Um. So yeah, I you know I I don't know. Um, I don't, you know, just splitting wings off. Uh, and like I I feel comfortable now. Uh, since I was able to to get you know the bases up that that I wanted. Yeah, for sure. And also, I mean, maybe I got a little nervous from character here where um, I mean, he's oversaturated by four probes in the main and has been for some time now. Um, yeah, and like, look, like half a like half a chrono just gets wasted on, on the natural. Yeah. Just, uh, like, maybe he was just like, he feels like he's in a good position, but it, it was kind of weird in that, like, he maybe he was like looking for like that, like shield battery, like type of game, like cannon rush. Mm, yeah. But he just got a macro lead, and maybe he just wasn't prepared for like, oh, like I I can just play a regular macro game and, and be ahead. Right. And right. If he's not prepared for that, not making probes, then yeah, like I just don't think he like had as good a transition. And I got an Overlord Scout. I I saw everything. I I see you know his thirds. So I'm feeling like really confident about whatever's coming. Uh, like, I think I even drone up more than I normally do, just because I literally saw everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, right. I, no, normally, I wouldn't drone up this much. And, like, I, I even have, like, a Ling, like, checking for uh, any proxy bases. Because I feel, I feel very good at, at this point in time, because I, I know everything. Which, honestly, is, is a rarity now in ZVP, because they build one Void Ray, and I'm like, I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, like, this is, like, it's pretty crazy too because I mean, character kind of built everything off that one pylon in the natural, you know. So like with the pervert overlord there, you, I mean, you just kind of yeah. Out. Okay, yep, I'm out. Bye. I mean, I, I still have it sitting above his mains. Oh, I think he's yeah. gonna kill him now. But yeah, I mean, this is just a. Uh... I think I should have got these spores earlier in case of DTs. <laughs> I, I guess I, I have an overlord or an overseer already, so it's not. It wouldn't be ter like you know game losing. But yeah, that yeah. would be like one way is if I you know somehow missed his uh, 
like a, a proxy GT shrine. Because I'm only checking for like proxy bases with this link. Not not you know proxy tech that's gonna be tucked away in a corner. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, I mean, I mean, it's pretty crazy. I mean, you're taking a pretty comfortable fourth here. Um, yeah. The character's gonna be taking his third now, but I mean, now you've got quite a few more workers. Army supply more than double his. Yeah, I definitely don't. I don't feel like the need to go kill him, especially it's hard to attack like up uh, up the ramp. And I see he's taking his third now, so I'm like, okay, you know, I'm just like, I'm fine, just uh, macroing up to max. Oh, I think he like paused there. Yeah. He was having mouse issues, so that and like maybe internet issues, so that is a little unfortunate. Now it looks like you're staying on fairly low drone count here as, as well. Well, yeah, because I <laughs> I just know he's on two base basically. Yeah. Like his his third isn't gonna be up yet, and then I'm just what am I? Yeah, I don't remember. Do I deny this before it goes up or? I might just uh, wait for my upgrades, or wait for max, I don't remember. So, so yeah, this could be... Yeah, I think I'm just setting up a sandwich here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this is... Uh... Yeah, unfortunately, no force field or anything to really kind of fend, like, mm -hmm. like slice up your army. I mean... Yeah, though, though my bane speed was late, so I'm like, oh shit, my bane speed's late. Like, so I don't make any bains. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I, st I think I still even feel fine, like if he's on three bases, because I'm on like I'm on seventy workers now. Uh, so I don't feel the need to to do anything. Yep, do it some you know nice infested uh, uh, units here. Just walking in, being like, hey, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, just change things. Like, I just, like, the only thing I don't want to lose to is, like, oh, I didn't see you were, like, pulling up carriers. Right, right. Uh, and, you know, as long as he's not pulling up carriers, I'm fine sitting on, like, you know, this drone count, this this army composition. But, yeah, I believe I, I hit max, so it, it's go time. Uh, and I finally got Bane speed, so, you know, that's good. <laughs> yep. This is, yeah, a, a little bit of an awkward coordination, but <laughs> I think I, I could have t taken a cleaner surround, but uh, yeah, huge main hits, no force fields. Yeah, for sure. I, I just had more. Yeah, the character unfortunately going immediately down to 18 armor supply here. Just a handful of stalkers and a immortal here at the top of the ramp, and yeah, I think you're just gonna... Yeah. I mean, I don't want to call things too early, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 114 <laughs> army supply to 6. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, roaches do inflate the army supply count. That is true, and that is true, but I yeah. I don't think they inflate, like, 100 to 6. Yeah, GG's calling him yeah, very, GG's. very well played by you, sir. Yeah, but, like, I, I want to say, like, both games, he got ahead from, from the cannon rush. I think I just, like, transition better. I don't know, like, if they're, like, different games. He's, especially in the second game, I transitioned better. Um, You know, maybe he was planning on, you know, that that like shield battery uh with the, the two two immortals and a prism that kind of stuff uh can be really strong versus their yeah. um but i just kind of like canceled my nat too early and then just expanded somewhere else and he, yeah he was he was ahead if uh he just macroed so he could have hit like a sharp like two base all in um but uh unfortunately my overlord was there to see everything so you know, I felt, you know, I, I basically knew exactly what to do. Right, right. Yeah, and it showed for sure. Yeah. And that's really smart. There, there are a lot of games where I get ahead and don't see the transition to air against Protoss and Terran. Less against Zerg, but yeah. Really? I get I get hit with the, the, the meat assault a lot. It, especially in games where, standard games, I don't, because like, I know the timings. But you know those games where you have like a 10 minute Ling Bane war and then you transition? I feel like I always forget to scout for mutas in like those types of games, you know? Yeah. I'm I'm just I'm better at seeing it coming when it's when it's Zerg versus Zerg. Probably because I played mutas so much in, in ZVZ. Uh, yeah, I, I mean yeah, I, I, I think I it's my worst. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> but yeah, it, it's definitely hard. Like versus Protoss, like oh, is it one Stargate? Is it two Stargates? And like you need to check. Are they saturating the third? Or have they got gases on their third? Yeah. Um, like Almost. I played, <laughs> as I said, a bunch of games versus Akron where he was just going no gas third, and then having a lot more depths than I thought. I've lost some ZDTs recently where I don't see the transition to battle cruisers out of you know like kind of a mech heavier style. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever played versus that. Although one, there was one uh, ZBT I lost where I flew the Overlord in, and I saw like there was a building barracks, and like, uh, you know, my they they kill my Overlord, uh, and then like a, a few minutes later, there's like a Hellbat BC all in, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I thought he was going by him. <laughs> um, and I looked at the replay, and he built like just one barracks, like not two like you normally would but he built one barracks like way far out like that was like easy for my overlord to see like it was on a romantic side right so it's like he put it like super far <laughs> at the edge of his main i like after i scouted it and he killed it he canceled the the barracks and like i should have known something was up because he had like 10 hellions which is i know that's too much for bio but for some reason like i just saw like okay like i've seen eight hellions like bio like that's fine yeah but yeah I, I, Something should have, like, you know, alarm bells ringing in my head. I see 10. Um, but yeah, I just scouted yeah. at the normal time. I was like, ah, he's building a barracks. Everything's good. <laughs> I'm playing against Bio. <laughs> and then, yeah, it was a Hellbat VC all in. And I was like, well, shit. Nah, yeah, that's, that's, that's really not something I've seen before. That's pretty wild. <laughs> what? <laughs> building the barracks at the edge of your base so it's so easily scouted and then canceling it. Dude, I got played there. It felt terrible. Yeah, five thousand IQ for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I although besides that game, I don't think I've gotten caught by like, oh my god, you know, PCs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, BCs just take so long to build. Where I feel like the the window there to find them is fairly high. Yeah, um, I have gotten caught mid- by two port BC when I think it's only one. Like, mm, I don't have enough yeah. to deal with it. Yeah. It tells you something about my scouting. <laughs> <laughs> Ten VCs came out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I, I mean, to be fair, I, I, I think Volnox, I think I've fallen to that camp quite a few times as well. Yeah. Especially, like, because, like, especially in GBG, you'll see a lot of, like, people who would just, do, like, do some very aggressive stuff or, like, you're kind of, like, just pulling all of your units together. You're not really thinking about leaving your base and kind of, like, keeping you there. And then they kind of, like, transition to something, like, really expensive. And then they just like work on your main. You're like, oh, okay, <laughs> nice. I've been enjoying off racing a lot, especially as Terran. And good yeah. God, the amount of people that go mass VC in TVT and flat is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, typically, like the reason why, like, I don't really do BC as much is like you're so, like, every BC opener pretty much is like you're so thin on like resources and like other units because they cost so much. Uh huh. And so it's like typically like I mean I couldn't tell you how many times we're like I've just run three Reapers and two Hellions into somebody's base and I'm like you didn't have any units and it's like two, <laughs> two starports and like a cyber or like a, a <laughs> yeah. I'm like oh okay sorry sorry but yeah yeah all right well I think we we saw some good games uh, yeah today some good series yeah thanks you guys for uh, coming and casting again yeah hopefully yeah, it's next been week fun. we can do some more I love yeah. doing these always appreciate it. Yeah, always a blast. And yeah, I definitely will will let everyone know. Hope hopefully, like you said, maybe uh, Thursday. Um, but if not, we'll get to stage three as well here soon. Yeah, are we are we planning on doing the finals live? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. D- definitely gonna try okay. to. Sometimes it depends on what time yeah, zones. Yeah, the players. Yeah, true, true. Um, for them and stuff, but yeah, I would love to. And by the way, okay, so Pax Roman is starting up on the 29th. Ooh, okay. Come play in that one. I'm going to drop the link in chat. So I think there's still quite a few regular people who could be around right now who play in a lot of stuff. And then the Proving Grounds... Wait, so Iron has, like... Are there going to be two running? Oh, no, I guess... Yeah, he just uh, has the Proving Grounds 2 set up yeah. like a month in advance yeah he's okay. building the hype early 
Yeah, I saw that. I was like really confused. <laughs> yeah, but I, I guess it makes sense now. He said he got drunk and didn't remember making it. <laughs> <laughs> they also raised the MMR cap. <laughs> So. Oh, dude! Also, a, a a big congrats to Tagged Once, who I see uh, has won uh, Ninjanix's uh, D3 tournament. Oh wow! Congrats! That's awesome. Very nice. Yeah, just checking out all the other random notifications that happen during while we're casting. Yeah. <laughs> Was that going on tonight too? Yeah. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. He was holding a a, a D3 tournament. Uh, he holds one like every, I think it's every week or every other week, um, and it like rotates whether it's like you know plat one, d three, d two, d one, m three. Uh, oh, so okay. it's fun. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to check that out. Yeah, uh, I think he runs a good tournament. They're they're always a good time. All right, you guys. Well, I think that'll be it for me tonight too. All right. Yeah. It's been fun. Yeah, yep, it was awesome. As always. Good games. Appreciate it. Everyone have a good night. Thanks for watching. And uh, Adios.